check out the comms wood near the signal wall. It's that illuminated mushroom. Your reports from there. Wonderful. Your first steps as a pioneer. We'll never forget those. That is, until you stop your first trespasser. If they didn't drill it into you during training, shoot them straight in the head. If they manage to patch them up in the hospital and the poor soul says they were just out for mushrooms, you're screwed. Good. We have a little tradition for the rookies out here. See those bottles under the tree? Try to shoot them all off from over there. so bad now, was it? Climb up on the lookout. I want to see how you shoot at the distance. Up top, you're gonna find Comrade Sniper Rifle. Take it. <laughs> the Austrians will think we're hunting again. pumpkin in the distance? We're shining a light on it. Imagine it's someone's head. I want to see a clear shot. Just like that. Intruder! In the name of the Socialist Republic! Halt! How should I begin? Talking has never been my strong suit. I've always just listened. Back when I was under the communists, those were my orders from my superiors, and today the same ones send me to eavesdrop on others with tape recorders. It's not particularly difficult work. People like to talk, especially about themselves. So all I do is just listen and let them talk. Bratislava, now the capital city, also has a lot to say. If I could choose, I'd rather listen to the sounds of this concrete jungle than dig up dirt on fabricated enemies. Back then, those were the bad ones. Then it was those. And now it's changed once more. Now, I'm just waiting for my turn. It seems to me that things are changing too quickly. I can't keep up. So many empty promises and oaths that I've had to take in my lifetime. Was I ever a convinced partisan? I don't know. But I had a roof over my head and a full stomach. The state took care of me when there was no one left in my life. Am I proud of what we did as border guards? It was all in the name of protecting the borders of Czechoslovakia. And it was a different time. So, maybe it's just an excuse I tell myself. The question remains, will I suddenly become a proud Slovak? It's at least an another chance for a fresh start which I accept eagerly. A cleansing of sorts, a clean slate. I think we all needed that. That's why we woke up to a new, shiny republic. Fading distant memory, longing for. 
Always this rush from one thing to another. One wants a new coat, the other a new pair of boots. Brand name shoes, cars that I buy for them always scuffed because they can't drive for shit. <laughs> but I have these fine little tapes. I have to pay the cops 5,000 crowns every month to record them for me. They mark them all neat like with the corresponding names. Look here. Zuzana B, Petra K. <laughs> cops will do anything for money these days. That's for sure. Because you know, Chief, these girls have really long legs, big tits. The guys are always chasing after them. Meanwhile, I'm working, doing business from dawn till dusk. They are left alone with a long leash, and I just can't keep them under my control. So, I keep an eye on them like this. I listen to make sure they're not cheating with others behind my back. But paying 10k a month to the undercovers is a lot, even for me. Good thing I don't have three of them, am I right? I would have to declare bankruptcy. They ain't my first girlfriends, you know. I've had to replace a few before, and I always warn the new ones to be careful. I have eyes and ears everywhere. Everywhere, you understand? Can't say whose ears and where exactly now, can I? And I tell them, you're costing me a lot of money, but these girls still won't give you the rest. These two? I won them in Ed's casino. I'm heading home now to listen to what they have been doing all month. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna blow a casket if they got lost somewhere again. But hey, if they have, thanks a lot, Chief. And never forget, they're all little beasts. Trotter, you free? Another order near SCU? Copy that. Trotter over. Come in a square, please. We're going to the disco. That's the guy who drove us to the square for the independence protest, right? That's exactly what I was thinking. Wow, it really is. Hey, guy, we know you. You drove us to the protest, to SMP Square. We were talking about you back then, about how brave you were. Really? Sure, and it all made a big difference, right? The communists are gone. Some of them, anyway. Yeah, well, let's not kid ourselves, you know. I never really did. Yes, yes. You're a fortune teller, and everything is bad anyway. And it's only gonna get worse. All right, calm down, guys. Mr. Taxi Driver, how do you see it? I'll adapt, as long as you're all happy. Well, I'm certainly not. You should have dressed warmer, then. Let's just be patient and give the new ones a chance. Maybe it won't be so bad. Here, it should be around here somewhere. Thank you, and many more safe trips. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Dispatch here. Copy All that. Try her over. Name's Laura. She's going to Rougino. Yes, and you are? You're right. Okay. Ruzhinov, right? To where exactly? A uh, hotel saloon. Oh, I see. That oh, I see sounded a bit weird. I'm just going there for a coffee and work. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, uh, I admit that came across as strange. I'm not that kind of girl. I'm a journalist. I go there to write. That's all. Journalist? Trotter, you free? Another order? No, 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 no. I have a customer. So, your name is Trotter. <laughs> That's cute. I got used to it. You already know my real name, Laura. May I have yours? I'm thinking it's a bit odd that dispatch addresses you directly when there are so many taxis around. Perfectly normal. And they aren't aware that you have a customer? Milan. My name is Milan. Hi, Milan. Nice to meet you. If that order isn't urgent, we're almost there. May I invite you for a coffee? I'm writing an article about Bratislava taxi drivers, and the nickname Trotter is fantastic. So, is that priority order urgent? One coffee won't kill me. At least I hope so. Agreed. Have you always been a taxi driver? More or less. You must meet a lot of interesting people. Okay, I'll confess, I don't just write about taxis. I tried to find various topics about Bratislava. In this lobby alone, there's so much inspiration for stories. You should have just offed him right there. That, I believe. I don't want you to think badly of me or be worried about talking to me. As a driver, you get to places the average person won't even know about. If you come across something worth writing about, interesting architecture, blown up car, a strange customer, anything, I'd be happy if you'd come here and tell me about it. I've been here a lot lately. Working as a journalist has taught me that the missing pieces of the puzzle are all around us. Just keep your eyes open. What do you think? Okay, thanks for the coffee, I gotta go. My green friend is already rumbling at me from outside. The pleasure was entirely mine. Have a nice evening, Milan. Trotter here, I'm turning back on. For Christ's sake, finally. Priority order from the Ministry of Interior for the night shift. I was only taking a break. What is it about? We have no further info. It might just be some bureaucrat working overtime. But stay alert. Switching channels.
Good evening. Let's go on a little trip to Stiso's villa. Our first president, who ended up so unpleasantly. Doesn't happen anymore nowadays, to hang the head of state. But you never know, right, Mr. Taxi Driver? Mm-hmm. The former Stiso's villa is now the Agricultural Research Institute. We need to retrieve a few specific um, files from there. I think it is also in your best interest to have those files in safe hands. Of course, you know which ones. If I say that we might find your name there too, you probably won't be surprised. The guard received a bottle as a gift, but to be safe, move quietly. If you would be so kind, I'll wait in the car. You should have come earlier. You undercovers do whatever you want. No wonder things turn out the way they do. Hands of gold. Now put them in the trunk. Chief, we didn't agree on that many boxes. I'm sure you have some kind of warrant with you. There are still some left, I'm sure. Okay, that should be it. My car is nearby, we'll move them there. Don't draw attention to us, for God's sake. There. Let's move them to my car.
Good job. See you later. Jock, jock, time is money. Hit up the Alpha. I'm about to cause some trouble. Hey. What's up? What you got for me? You busted a nut today, yeah? Shouldn't drive with a full sack. You're endangering the neighborhood. Don't you start groping me here, yeah? you faggot. <laughs> Take it easy, kid. We both want to get there safely. All right, man, what's up? Don't get all nervous. It's just a joke, right? Chill out. That will be 200 crowns. Excuse me? You're excused. Now hand over the cash, or I'll gut you with me knife, you dipshit. Okay, okay, I need to pay for the gas with something. Is that okay? Next time, make it double. Listen, do you know who I am? Branislava is my fucking silly. Set sort of, you faggot. Ride it on that shiny head of yours. Got it, Set so. Noted. You better keep my name out of your fucking mouth. Trotter here. Is anyone awake? Dispatch here. Description. Gypsy in his late 30s. He introduced himself to me as Tetzel. Do you have something on this guy? Tetzel. He's a well-known brand. Give me a second. Uh, well, prison thug, he got out thanks to those famous amnesties. Aggressive, known as Tetsu, but also called the demon of Bratislava. He's a real asshole. Um, conveniently, there's a big meetup at the Auschwitz restaurant on the Danube coming up. All the pals from the underworld will be there. And it looks like Tetsu will be as well. Should I keep looking? Over. That'll do. Thank you.
Good morning. And what can I do for you? It's too late for good mornings. There's been a certain unpleasant situation. Unpleasant for you, that is, involving a journalist. He has become quite interested in certain files. May I come in? I'm sure you'll forgive me if I keep my shoes on. What the fuck do I have to do with any files? This guy wrote in an anti-government newspaper that those classified state documents you took from the Institute had gone missing. He concocted a connection to the party chairman. I've come to ask you to politely advise this agitator that this is not a relevant topic for him to write about. Here's his picture and the newspaper's name where he works. I'll see myself out. Goodbye. Fuck!
yes? Mail, I've got your pension for you. That doesn't arrive today. A pre-election surprise from the Prime Minister. Ah, oh, how nice. Doors open. What's going on? Please, don't hurt me. Take whatever you want. I have nothing of value. Please, take my wallet. It's on the table. If you want to keep your fingers for typing, go fuck with the missing files. Comprende? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was only doing my job. Uh, I'm sorry. Please, don't hurt me. I'm sorry. I was... Only doing my job. I'm not that kind of girl. I'm a journalist. I go there to write. That's all. I don't just write about taxis. I try to find various topics about Bratislava. Hmm. I better go check up on Laura. Taxi. Hey. Right here. I'm feeling a bit down today. I would enjoy a quiet ride. Who gave you a license?
can manage from here. Hey, Laura. You got a minute? Sure. Good to see you, Milan. Is everything okay? Yeah, I just... I, I just don't know if you heard about that journalist. I did, although I wish I hadn't. And it's not the first time either. I'm honestly sick of it. <laughs> did it hit you that hard, too? It's more like I'm uh, wondering if you're okay, and... You know, I just don't know that much about you, and... Uh, as a journalist, if you're writing about the... wrong people... I just don't want anything to happen to you. I appreciate it, Milan. To be honest, I'm a bit scared. I hardly go out anymore. Then let's go out for some fresh air. Do you like horse racing? I'm more familiar with fish, but I'll give horses a try too. I got a tip on the winner, but I didn't feel like going along. Maybe it's worth it, you know? To unwind a bit. Unwinding is exactly what I need. May I accompany you today, miss? <laughs> it would be my pleasure. So you're saying it's a sure thing, huh? Do you have these kinds of predictions often? Not anymore. Let's just say I got a tip from former friends. Or rather, my ex's friends. Ah. Uh, so you're not seeing each other anymore? It was all pretty intense. Towards the end, I really wanted to close the chapter with him and his gang. But in the end, fate took care of it on its own. What? Is he six feet under? I don't know. He disappeared without a trace and... Damn. I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. Well, I have no idea what's going on with him. So, are you hoping he shows up? No, not at all. I'm more afraid that I might be next. They'll have to get through me first, over my dead body. Oh, thank you. Let's go pluck those bookies. <laughs> That's right. Bookmakers everywhere, tremble.
majestic animals, aren't they? Did you know that horses can breathe through their mouths? <laughs> so, when their noses are stuffed, they choke? <laughs> With those hooves, it's probably difficult for them to blow their nose. You know, when horses are sick, they immediately put them down. Jesus, where'd you hear that? Every owner loves their horses and invests a lot of money in them. No one would just get rid of their horse like that. What's the old saying that when a horse stumbles, it gets a bullet straight between the eyes? I don't understand. Why don't they just treat them instead? I'm not a vet, but as far as I know, horses can't recover from a broken leg because they need to stand on all four legs. They can't function with just three. Ugh, that's gotta be a terrible feeling. Pointing a gun at an innocent animal. I think they put them down with injections, but... Mm -mm. Let's not talk about that anymore. Yeah, 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 but don't worry. Nothing's gonna happen to our winner. Or any other horse. Not even to those little guys on their backs? <laughs> no. <laughs> not even to those jobs. Wow, you're right. I think I owe you a coffee or an entire coffee machine. We'll call it even if you drop me back at the hotel. You can pay me back with a coffee there. Agreed.